Hi everybody! I wanted to change Amelia here because I haven't made a changing video in a while. And as you can see, she's still wearing her little uh, Carter's little bee outfit. And also I want to talk about some updates since the last time I talked to you guys was on Friday when I was having bed rest. So, um, I hit my seven weeks on Saturday. So I'm seven weeks and two days. So I'm really excited that I got to reach that mark. And tomorrow is our big day for our ultrasound. And I just pray everything goes smooth and we get to hear the baby's heartbeat and, and see how many babies are in there. Um, as you guys know, in my last video, I was talking about I was having some bleeding. Um, it wasn't a lot but there was bleeding and it stopped on Friday completely stopped like if it wasn't even there and then nothing has come back since um, of course I was very worried um, even after talking with a nurse you know it's scary it's very scary to go through something like that and I just prayed and prayed and I asked God please Lord just give me some kind of sign or you know please take away my worries and my fear that there's something bad that's happening and then Sunday he answered my prayers because no joke you guys there is a woman in my trying to conceive an IVF community who made a video on Sunday she is a week ahead of me she went through the exact same scenario Hers was actually a little, she had a little bit more bleeding than I did. And, but everything she was saying matched up to my symptoms, everything to a T. It was almost like if I made the video. And she actually got to go to her doctor that same day. And she heard her baby's heartbeat and everything is fine. The doctor put her on two days of bed rest, which I had. Um, and now her bleeding has stopped. Uh, her bleeding was caused by a hemorrhage, a sub... Oh, how do you say it? I don't want to botch the word up. Uh, subtonic hemorrhage, I believe. And um, with me and her both being on blood thinners, it causes us to bleed more. So, I know you can't self-diagnose yourself because um, I'm not a doctor. But everything that she was saying, I mean, just fit it perfectly on what I went through. And... I'm praying that that's what it was and everything is okay and that tomorrow we will get great news and that everything is okay in our pregnancy and we can move forward because in one more week I will be two months pregnant and I have never made it that far. So um, I just really want to make it, you know, I just really want to get to that point where I'm out of my first trimester, I'm on to my successful two second trimester and so on and so on. And I want to say thank you again to everybody who just keeps on praying for us and you guys are such great cheerleaders for me and Jared and our little baby. I just can't say thank you enough. Um, also an update about that creep who kept calling me. He didn't call it all over the weekend but he did call once yesterday and it was very early in the morning so I've been praying about that that you know um, that fool just leaves me alone I have not been antagonizing him I have not been playing phone tag with him or sending him messages I've been ignoring him so hopefully he'll just vanish and leave me alone um, so I'm just praying that that gets resolved and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and change the baby now so I'm gonna try not to get in the light but that's kind of inevitable I'm just gonna put her in her onesie because it's warm here um, she's gonna wear this one I bought a long time ago and none of the babies have worn it yet it's kind of big so I don't know if it's gonna fit her it's zero to three who is it by grasslands road I've never heard of that um, it says, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. And it has this cute little hippo on the front. And the hippo is outlined in purple. And it's a real pale pink. So we'll see. It's probably going to be big on her. But, you know, it's okay. 
So I'll go ahead and take her little man off. I really haven't done much with the babies um, because I've just had so much on my mind and I know the babies are a big stress reliever um, but there are some times when you're going through things not even the babies can help um, you know and it's uh, it's very hard to get through stuff like this and your mind is just playing all these tricks on you and you start thinking all these horrible thoughts and it's just um oh I hate it I hate it I hate thinking you know the worst about something but I have just had so much heartache and so much disappointment in the journey of motherhood that um, it's very, very difficult to look at the bright side of things. It's just so hard. You know, I tell myself every day, you know, be grateful for what you have. Be thankful what God has given you. And I am. But there's always this little part of me in the back of my mind that is just dreading this appointment coming up tomorrow. Because I can just visually think of what happened last time and I know I shouldn't do that but it's hard it's very hard not to to think about the things that could happen and I just um, I just want to just uh, hear that heartbeat and I want to have a beautiful and happy day tomorrow and uh, I feel confident about it I feel really good I'm not overly stressed about it um, as I was on Thursday when the bleeding happened. Uh, today I feel, well actually since Saturday, I felt like a weight lifted off my shoulder since I saw um, that lady's video. It just uh, reassured me that things like that can happen and it doesn't mean that it's the end like your pregnancy is just over so um, it calmed me a hundred percent it was just literally like all this weight was just lifted off my shoulders and it just felt so comforting knowing that someone else out there has gone through what I've gone through and here I am watching her talk about it and I'm like oh my gosh that happened to me the exact same way and you know I went online and I've read so many articles after articles and reading material like that is good but actually seeing a video and someone explaining things is so much more powerful than just reading it so um, I immediately wrote her told her thank you for sharing her story, what it did for me, and um, she follows my um, Trying to Conceive channel, even though I have not been updating on that channel. I've been very bad, and I've only been doing updates on here. Um, we do correspond, and I follow her and watch her videos, and... Um, she has had a very rough road in her trying to conceive and she's had several miscarriages so she knows exactly what I've been going through and um, it's nice to have that bond. Well, I guess it does fit her. Looks kind of big or wide I should say. Hmm. It looks really cute on her. <laughs> Aww. I love this pink. She is just, oh, I love her so much, you guys. I love this little girl. Look at her. She just looks so realistic. My gosh. So realistic. I love um, the way her hair was rooted. It's very, very realistic. Almost to the T of what my niece her hair looked like when she was born 
and the color even it's just beautiful this part right here doesn't want to stay down on her shirt it bothers me <laughs> I'm gonna have to like press it iron it or something I guess mama should have thought about that before I put it on you huh I wasn't prepared okay so um I was thinking about putting the purple headband on because it's got purple on the little hippo. The little letters are a dark chocolate. Or I was going to do this pink polka dot, which I'll probably do that one. That looks really super cute. And you know what? My Walmart sucks, you guys. They haven't gotten any new stuff in. No new hair accessories. I've seen a lot of the new hair accessories come out on other people's channels and on Instagram. And we have not gotten them at our store yet. And I am just like, really? What is up with Walmart? And I've noticed that a lot of some of the clothes that are out are all starting at zero to three or three months. Not very much new worn at my Walmart. So I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Do a little changing video with this little sweet girl. Um, wow. Can't believe tomorrow's already going to be my appointment. It's, it's felt like it's taken forever to get here. And um, symptoms, no nausea, thank God. Um... Still a little bit tired off and on through the day. Very thirsty. Uh, I have dry mouth. My hair is dry. My skin is dry. Um, I have acid reflux. Even if I drink water. So that's awesome. But I'd rather take that than anything. Like I'd rather take the acid reflux than be vomiting all day long. So I'm grateful for that. Um, cravings. <laughs> I'm all over the map. One day I want Chinese food, the next day I want hot dogs. Like, there's just no consistency of one thing I want all the time. Um, there are some food aversions. Like, if I see something or I smell something, ooh, I'll just go, ooh, like that. But I won't get sick. You know, I'll just be like, ooh, get that away from me. But I won't be to the point where I want to vomit or anything. So, you know, um, just taking it one day at a time, and I really feel confident that tomorrow will be great. All of you guys just be in my corner. I wish I could just take you all with me um, and have you cheer me on in the waiting room <laughs> or be there if I have to cry. <laughs> but I know in my heart, I just know it, guys, tomorrow is going to be great. I just feel it. I just feel that tomorrow is going to be okay and I'm going to have good news to report. <sighs> I just know it, guys. I just hope so. All right, all of you, take care. Have a great week and tomorrow's the big day. <laughs> I know a lot of you are waiting on pins and needles just like me, just wanting to know if everything is all right and I'll fill you in, okay? All right, guys. Bye.